Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of rumors, speculation going on about WWE Supercard, but now we're at the end of February. It is the lethal leap year, and probably one of the best value packs has showed up in the store with a bit of woo to go along with it. Yes, if you haven't seen, we have got the Ric Flair pack, which we are going to get in today's video, which has a exclusive only for this pack, which, yeah, I've got thoughts on that. Ric Flair card, and I'm going to talk about it in more detail in, moment, in a moment when we get it opened. Plus, you've got this brand new pack that showed up. It's the end of the Adam Cole quest, and there is some very interesting info that is about to drop supercard in fact as of tomorrow we get on the road to wrestlemania or should we say the voyage or via voyage anyway smack the like button if you're excited about the road to wrestlemania i would have said smack the like button about uh the goldberg and the fiend but let's be honest nobody liked that really did they so i want to know in the comment section what are your thoughts about super showdown and what happened between the fiend and Goldberg. <laughs> oh, God. Asking the internet's opinion is never a wise thing. But seriously, I'm expecting an explosion in the comment section. Just want to say a huge thank you, by the way, to every single person who has supported the, the new series, the brand new account. It's still going. Don't worry, I've not given up yet. Uh, we've gone up a new tier, so don't worry about it. We're going to be covering all the big, big moves as well. We're still waiting for a few extra places in the Poor Man Supercar team. So please do keep sending your requests in. Whilst you're there, if you want to see more of this kind of thing, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turn notifications on. But let's get into this brand new pack. A leap into a new year. This is a very interesting one because... If you've got 2,000 credits to spare, I cannot do anything but recommend you buy this pack because it gives you a brand new, if you're in Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble card. It's basically a free pull of your tier. If you are in any other tier down to SummerSlam 19, it is your current tier up to the next tier above you. So if you're in Vanguard, it's Vanguard to Royal Rumble. If you're in Primal, it's Primal to Vanguard, etc. It's a nice free additional card. Well, I should say free 2,000 credits. It's not bad. I personally think it should have been leaping to a new tier. It should be a card above your tier, guaranteed. If you are below Summer Sam 19 or on Summer Sam 19, it is a free Summer Sam 19 card, guaranteed 100%, which is, I'm guessing for some people, Especially newbies in the game, if you've got 2,000 credits to spare, especially if you've got an exclusive offer, that is the one you want to be going for. So we're going to be opening this, and then we're going to be going for the Ric Flair pack. So uh, 2,000 credits. What's it going to get me? Not just a male, it could be a female as well. 2,000 credits down, leap into a new tier. Let's go! It is the big red monstrosity. Pain. I believe, if I'm not wrong, he is a... He's a Fortify. Yes, he is. So he's an F1, which is cool. I don't believe you can get more than one of those packs. I'll have a look at those in a second. Let's see if we can train this bad boy up. Do we have any cards to train him away with? Our enhancement. We've got, we've got two. We've got one of these. Royal Rumble enhancements. Uh, nope. I think I actually might need two to get F1 done. Oh, you're kidding. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to use the last one as well. There we go. There is tier one Fortify Kane. Uh, how much better is he? Let's have a look. Oh, he's actually not bad. He's just behind Batista. Better than Drew McIntyre. That means it wasn't completely wasted. So he is actually a pretty powerful card. And he's on... If I actually go across to, uh, where is it? To Road to Glory. If I autofill this now. Damn. 
powerful, powerful deck. It's a really powerful deck. Nowhere near as powerful as uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, who I've got a tier three of, or Hulk Hogan, because he's just an absolute monster. But um, hey, it's at least it's something. What I will say is I also got myself a, a new pro female from King of the Rings, so I'm very, very happy about that. I'll be getting this pro up as soon as she is done training with Rhea Ripley because I am very much struggling with my women's... In fact, I don't even know whether proing it is actually going to make a difference. I probably should keep it as it is for the time being until so I get more um, left arrow females. This is um, slightly worrying. But hey, hopefully they're not going to run a female event too soon. After this, by the way, it's like a Alexa Bliss from Goliath tier, which is very much low, lower down. So if you've opened one of those packs, let me know what you got. We got ourselves a cane, which is a big red machine. It's the last day for the Adam Cole quests, which brings me on to the Ric Flair packs. Now, we're just going to go into it, but I've got some very important advice. If you're thinking about getting this card then really need to pay attention to this. Now, if you're here just for me to open these packs, then, well, it's about to happen. I do these things so you don't have to. Segway. Woo! You're about to get robbed! Now, just to give you a, an idea, I'm doing this because I'm a massive card collector, right? Massive card collector. The actual Ric Flair card itself is not great. Tenth. It's tenth in the tier. Matches with Shawn Michaels, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little lower, isn't it? No, it's just he's either just over or matches Shawn Michaels. Oh, I think it's just over. He's got a very good charisma rating, but his power's kind of... He's kind of like a... He's like a bad rock. Or a bad Cena. It's a bad, bad Cena. So if you're doing it to, to get the card and pro it, don't bother. Seriously, don't bother. Why is, why, is, why is Beast having a, a meltdown? Because the Ric Flair is only available through credits. Yeah, which sucks. Um, really sucks. And I've, I've passed my thoughts and feelings about the situation on to the guys at Cat Daddy. And it's stupid. It needs to be fixed. It needs to change. So we're going to go through... The other packs are quite cool, though. The other, if you're not going to go for the main one, the other packs are kind of cool. This, uh, this first one is Season 1 only so this is uh ultra rare to wrestlemania season one i'm yeah, pretty okay. sure i've got all these pro anyway but you know i'll take how much i'll oh, carry on how much of the first six packs all added together two thousand credits i think it's not that bad for a bunch of legacy images yeah and i don't know what the first couple of packs are all i know is that there's a lot of legacy images in they're it. all legacy according to things I've, heard, I've read okay well in which case then let's go <laughs> rick flair one of seven this gets me Three cards from season one and a train up card. Let's open it up. We've got three epics. <laughs> Not even Not joking. Epic. Look, it's three epics. Epico, Epico party. Hey, go on, Ric Flair. Oh, I actually needed it. I actually, that's a star in the catalog. Well, would hey, you, look at, that, would you look at Easy that? Pro. Easy, bro. You could say that was an epic pack opening. Go away, fun. Paddy. I'm the joke guy, Purdy. Yes. Come on. I leave uh, for a week and this is what happens. Two of seven is uh, four Rick Flair's from Rare Season 2 to Ultra Rare Season 2. Um, doesn't really benefit me all that much. But hey, you get yourself a nice little train up for it. Uh, Rick Flair's. I believe I've got all these pro... No, I don't. Okay. I thought I'd add all these pro'd up, but I didn't. In which case, it's another... Okay, this gives, oh. is a is a rat. This is a free pack. This gives me a Rick Flair Hardened. Um. Yeah, don't say that out loud. That's a uh, is that a throwback Ric Flair? It is. Nice. Yeah, and then he's got a train up as well. Uh, which mm. is yeah, train up. <laughs> Let's go for uh, this next one. Is a neon Ric Flair again? I've already got it, so it doesn't really give me too much benefit. A couple of train ups as well. Train up, aka pack filler. Cataclysm. I thought you would have got something good from these. And there's a Hall of Fame Ric Flair. It gives me two Nightmares train-ups. And then we've got this last pack. Now, this last pack is 7-7. Uh, seven seven, one times Ric Flair. Uh, it's 8,000 credits. 
10 times train up in Royal Rumble. Now, in terms of value, compared to other things in Supercard, this is actually quite good, but not if you haven't got Adam Cole. If you've got Adam Cole, and you're trying to go for the pro of him, focus your efforts on that and not this. Trust me, you'll thank me later, because if you go for a, a pro of Ric Flair, you can go for a pro of Adam Cole before it, the, the Adam Cole quest ends for less credits. Less than 24 hours now, isn't it? For that yes. Quest? And the Adam Cole card will crush this. Crush it. The thing is, is if you've been playing normally, you probably would have got yourself 5 to 10 booms anyway. Uh, you got tomorrow, which is the last day of the, of the quest, so they might, they might, there is the possibility you might get some free booms as well. If you're going to go for the single or the pro Adam Cole, or you're going to go for the single or pro of this, just think about getting Adam Cole instead. If you're going to go for just for the single, Adam Cole's better. If you're going to go for the pro, Adam Cole's better. I personally, <laughs> I personally. I'm doing this because I want this Ric Flair card because it's, it's a limited edition card. That's the reason I'm doing it. 7 to 7. The pack looks nice. It's really, really nice as well. It's, it's got the... all the old school cards on it. Yeah. The it's only... the card back from that event. Yeah. That Ric Flair event. The only thing I would say is I, I would have expected them to put Charlotte Flair in a few of these <laughs> because they usually, whenever they, whenever they do anything to do with like Ric Flair, they usually like kind of like tag Charlotte along, like to, to it, like, hey, you're, you're Ric Flair's daughter, right? Well, you need to be here too. Uh, <laughs> let's go, Ric Flair, seven to seven, boom. Uh, let's. Where is it going to show up? Is it going to show up here? Is it going to be showing up here? Oh, up here? Yeah, we go. There it is, Ric Flair. You know what he looks like, and this is one of the things that I find really funny about oh this 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 era, Ric Flair. I really like the image. Right. He looks like old school Triple H. If anyone knows yes. Terror Rising Triple yep. H. Yep. That is him. <laughs> now on obviously him. very different, but Terror Rising WCW Triple H. He was on precisely one WCW pay per view. <laughs> yes. So there it is. Uh that is the Royal Rumble. Rick Flair, we're gonna have a look at some of the images in a second as well. Because I, I'm excited about getting it. People are going to say, why are you supposed to money? I'm not. I have no intention of doing anything else really until WrestleMania, to be honest with you. I know that there's some stuff coming, which I just wanted to talk about now, by the way. Um, oh, and just FYI, for anyone who wants to join the free-to-play squad, which is called Poor Man, um, don't message me. <laughs> you want to be messaging the other account. I've had like 70 messages plus on my main account, and that's when it's been free. Okay. So first of all, the Ric Flair packs come out. This next week on Supercard, next week on Supercard basically means from today. The last chance to finish collecting Adam Cole's quest card, and that runs out tomorrow, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So the Royal Rumble Fusions will drop either Sunday or Wednesday. Maybe I I I ah oh, you know what I don't know. It depends what they drop first because it does look like this is something called an epic voyage begins. Now don't first of all WrestleMania two ain't dropping yet. There's no way it's dropping yet. Thank Considering God. we know that the next event card is rumor and speculation hat on Brock Lesnar as revealed by Supercard leaks on Twitter. I would imagine it's going to be a WrestleMania themed month which ties quite nicely into the fact that this week's event that's coming up is going to be another Seth Rollins given he has one of the best Wrestlemania moments ever only person to beat Brock twice at Mania yes indeed also Sunday uh, stay really tight I keep your eyes on the login bonus rewards because it says intriguing login bonus rewards might have yeah, something to do with those leaks that have been um, popping up left, right, and center. First of all, I need to check out... You know what? I'm so glad that finally we've got a set of cards we can actually put these PCC cards on. It doesn't look absolutely revolting. So, we first of all got this. We've got the the, the Survivor. I remember they put this that card in late. 
We've got the WrestleMania. This is one of my favorite Ric Flair images ever. Well, if you search for Ric Flair PNG in um, on the Google trying to find the like, renders and stuff, you can barely find any. Like he doesn't have like nearly any of them. They just don't exist. God knows how Supercard got them all. Yeah, I'm guessing. Well, they they go for to the um the vault for them, so they go to the the the, the basically the library access. I still want to know what the choosing process for images are. Uh, well, I, you know what? The next time I get a chance to ask them, I'm going to ask them that very question. You know what? This because doesn't look that... bad. Look, look at this. I... This doesn't look bad, yeah. does it? No, I like that actually. It's the blue on the red. I think it contrasts well. His is epic. Looks really big. You put this one on. And he just squishes down in size. He just like, <laughs> like becomes that. half the size. He becomes mini flare. They put him on the dryer. <laughs> yeah, it's like mini flare. Uh, oh, look at this beauty. Yeah. Oof. I, I love that image, but I hate the outline. Beautiful. Stick with the PCC ones. Because the, these cards are literally the only images. You, the only cards you can use these images on are the Royal Rumble cards. The outline still hurts. Yeah, it just looks stupid otherwise. Just looks stupid. 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 We're now going to get uh, Seth Woolin. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. No. Seth Woolins. Yeah, the, the Monday Night Messiah, except this is a Saturday when you're watching this and a Friday on Twitch. So it makes no sense. The Saturday Night Jehovah's Witness. Go, Seth. Ugh, oh, dear me. <laughs> I, I saw that the Jehovah Witness picture. <laughs> credit uh, all credit goes to Monkey for that. Yes, Efron is officially apparently a Jehovah's Witness. So there it is. Uh, Seth Rollins done. We're going to check out his images because the last card we did, John Morrison, didn't have any. So it's going to be interesting to see what cards go well. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Um. Uh, yeah. Anyway, less about him. Less about him. You know what? It doesn't look bad, actually. It actually, doesn't. No, that's actually, that's actually pretty damn good. Give him that messiah glow, you know. Yes. See, he, actually, you know what? That looks good as well. That's when he, he, he dressed up as the George Clooney Batman. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one obviously is the best one. Everyone's gonna use this one because it's the Money in the Bank briefcase. Half blonde, half brunette. What color is your hair? Oh god, there's so many. He's got one. He's actually one of the people. If anyone's seen my old videos, uh, the before season six came out, where I did a uh, the best, um, so the most or the best cards in every single tier, I actually did a calculation of every single card in the entire game. And Seth Rollins is like the second or third. Most. Didn't C didn't Cena win that? Not anymore. I think since season six come out, Cena has dropped. That would um, make sense. Um, I think Roman now has the most cards in the game. Although mm -hmm. the best one is definitely got to be. <laughs> oh, thick boy! I'd I'd use it just for the uh, comedy value. <laughs> He's looking thick. He's looking thick. Oh, that's a that's a thick boy, Seth Rollins. It just suits. Or do I go to the Neon Shield, or do I go WrestleMania because obviously it's a Money in the Bank card? I'm gonna no, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a very controversial thing, and I'm gonna go all the way back to season one for the legendary fusions because I think it looks better. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna do yeah. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Get rid of that one guy that we do not speak about till yes, Mania. Yes, we do not, we do not, do not talk about that. Man is, is, man is rubbish. You just won the biggest title in wrestling history. No, he won the other one. <laughs> Look, the title I was going to say, please don't tell me you think the Universal title. No, I thought he won the black one, not the blue one. Okay, there we go. He's fully leveled up. Apparently, the new stats... I mean, someone has to correct me here, because I, I hope I'm wrong. Apparently, Seth Rollins pro four stats John Morrison. Now, there are some big rumours going around at the moment, which I will be talking about very, very soon. But obviously, because tomorrow is the first day of a new month, it may 
all be revealed tomorrow. So I don't want to just jump in on the rumors and all the, the leaks that have been coming out. I'm going to wait until the info drops. Either 12 o'clock tonight or 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm interested to find out what it is. In the meantime, hope you guys have had an amazing day. Wherever you are, smack that like button if you're excited for WrestleMania 36 and WrestleMania 36 tier, because it looks like it's definitely on the way. The first murmurs are coming up. Comments in the comment section below about what you thought about Bill Goldberg and the fiend Bray Wyatt. Oh God, this is gonna be fun. Subscribe to the channel whilst you're there to see more of this and turn your notifications on and I will see you in the next one.